Okay, we have our boat command device. We got all our connections hooked up, and we're going to go ahead and test this before we wire tie all our wires down to make sure everything's working correctly. On the back of the device, it has our device key number. We'll need that to type into our account when we add boat command. And this, where the harness plugs in, we have two LED lights. We have an amber light and a green light. The amber is for our cellular and the green is for GPS. What you want to see is a solid green. The amber may blink. If it's blinking, it's usually sending data back and forth. But a lot of times, if they're on solid, you're good to go. Main thing is, is that green on the GPS needs to be solid. If it's not, that means you're not getting a good GPS signal. So what we're going to do is plug this harness in, and when I take my hands back away, you'll see the lights. And right now, they are blinking. And what you can do is, or what you can expect is about approximately five minutes or so of uh, the lights blinking, the sailor is going to be updating any additional information to the device, and the GPS is going to be looking for the satellite to lock on. While it's doing that, what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and add this boat command device to our account. <clears throat> boat command device. And what we're going to do is open up our account settings, go to the very bottom. I'm on the iOS Apple app, and add boat command. And then here, we'll type in what we want to name the boat. We'll do and then we need to get our product key. And we'll just type that in here. and then add boat command. And now at the top here I got 268 SS. I can click onto it. Now it's already downloaded all the the data from the device since I've hooked it up. It's given me uh, the bilge pump, our anchor, battery one and two. See the voltage there gives me the inside temperature of our bilge, outside weather, and we can view us on the map. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and test the device, make sure all our features are working okay. We're going to go ahead and uh, turn the switch on. You can either do that on the bilge itself or you can turn the switch on at the, the helm. Do that real quick. Okay, on our lights, we're going to test our controls, make sure they're working okay to turn on the light. Okay, looks like our lights are working good. I'll turn that off. And I've already looked at the, the map on my phone shows the, uh, the GPS location so we know that's good and I went to my app and also checked my battery voltage for both battery 1 and 2 
I do show voltage so I know those are hooked up properly and working okay. Okay, what we want to do next is we need to do a couple of things. One, run our temperature uh, probe where we want it to, to be, wire tie it down, and but we'll probably do that after we tie up our device. Our device we want it out of uh, sight where people can't see it, so if somebody's getting on your boat, they know about a uh, GPS device and trying to locate it to, to tear it out, you want to have that hid so they can't find it. Okay, on our device it has a, a label that says boat command and this side up. What that means is the GPS for it to work properly you want mount the device flat but you also can mount it vertically. What you do not want to do is mount it the label facing down. What happens if you do that you may have some issues with your GPS locking on. So in this case we're going to mount it to an existing wire loom tucked up behind this panel over here. Okay, we tidied everything back up. We uh, got the light back in place. Have the pergo switch, the battery switch back in place. Got all our wires. Tightened back up and tied down and there's our boat command device and our temperature sensor and bilge.